Okay, uh, this this next song. Uh, I know I talk too much between songs, but uh, um, I hear it from a couple people. Why don't you just shut up and just play it? Uh, okay, well I have to explain this next song. This song. This next song is very good. Okay, this song. This. Uh, okay, this next song came out as a as a single, uh, and it went boom. It one of them dive bombs, but. Uh, this is uh, not an autobiographical song, totally. Uh, in some of the verses of the next song, I, I'm in and I'm out. It's not all the way about me. A lot of people assume that everything I write is about me, myself, mine, I, me, I. And frankly, uh, it's not, uh, I'm very boring to be quite frank. Um, some of this stuff is totally just right out of the air, you know. Not about anybody in particular. Uh, but. This next song, I have to explain, I do a little introduction to this one because it'll give you a little better picture of what I'm talking about. I have to stand up here. Now, this next song is dedicated to what I refer to as rock and roll jive, okay? Now, we're kind of, we're, we're kind of in the peak of what, of what is the age of rock and roll jive, okay? Let me give you some examples. Rock and roll jive is, what I'm doing now is kind of rock and roll jive. I'm, you know, it's, I'm kind of fattening up the set by talking, you know what I mean? It's a killing time or whatever it is, but... Okay, but, but a lot of rock and roll jive is like, okay, you go to the concert, okay, you go to the concert, you paid your ticket, the first thing the band does when they come on, they automatically demand that you clap your hands, you put your hands together, okay? Hey, everybody, come on now, let's clap our hands, come on, right on, brothers and sisters, hey, stop your feet, clap your hands, hey, boogie, right on, hey, peace, no, ha, ho, hey, we're gonna really boogie down, ha, no, see, all right, so now... And audiences, you know, generally being good natured, but okay, you know what? No. So, hey, come on up. Hey, you're not clapping your hands. Oh, okay, I'll clap my hands. It's kind of a whole, you know, Sig Heil philosophy. You know, come on. Hey, rock and roll. You see, they, they've been doing that for 40 years now. Groups have been coming on. Hey, come on, we clap your hands. And it's jai because it, it, they figure if, you, if they get you to clap your hands that you're just going to get into this hysterical frenzy and you're just going to, they're going to go over great, you know. Hey, uh, so like one night I would like to see like a group like that come on and go, hey, now let's all clap our hands and boogie, rock and roll. And the whole audience just go, no. <laughs> see, because then they're going to go, they're not doing it, man. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to play some authentic music, you know. That's a good example of rock and roll jive. Another example of rock and roll jive is, uh, okay, now, this is, some of these things are visual uh, for the radio people. Um, uh, this is, rock and roll jive is great. The group comes on, the lead guitar player has the guitar shaped like the green arrow, whatever it is. This is cool, some guys can pull it off, but some guys, they do look ridiculous. Like, that's right. like the 10 inch platform spitting fire, right? <laughs> with the, with the, the third eye tattooed on the forehead, right? It's very musical, you know what I mean? So it comes on and uh, the other members of the group are engaged in crossing guitars in the middle of the stage and humping each other. Like, hey, hey man, this is so spontaneous. Oh, uh, and you've seen it a million times, right? Meantime, the guy with the, the, the ten-inch platforms has changed to fourteen-inch platforms, right? and he's he is now turned himself around to totally reveal to you that he has this uh, huge lump in his pants. Right? Take the picture, go ahead, okay. So now... So, you see, now I used to see groups like that and I'd see this guy with this huge lump in his pants and I... So for some reason, for some macho reason, they feel compelled, like, you know, hey, I'm gonna go out there with this big lump and those chicks are just gonna go crazy, man. You know, like, I used to watch those groups and, wow, look at that guy, man, you know, I used to feel, you know, insecure. <laughs> then I realized, I worked, I worked with one of those groups and that thing that looks like a banana, it is a banana. <laughs> he puts the banana in his pants before he goes out, okay? 
So if you're ever at one of those concerts and the guy is, is shaking his, is lumping his crotch in your face, you know, like that, you just, you can go like that. And you'll just, boom. boom. For those of you who are worried, Billy Joel just yeah, pulled a banana right. out of his trousers. So, uh, so I just, you know, that, so that's like a, that's a rock and roll drive thing. I'm sure you've seen that, right? And I'm not, you know, Wolf Major. Now, you want me to do the whole thing, I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble. You're gonna have me... You know, no, no, I'm not gonna commit media suicide. I've done it too many times already. Right, go ahead, Billy. Slash your wrist. Right. Now, there are, there are some shows on TV. I, they were made nameless. There is a guy who, who does this thing with... Hey, kids, we're gonna have... Blah, blah. Now, there have to be some people here who watch that show and want to vomit, right? I just think of my grandmother sitting home, Flatbush Avenue, watching that show, and she sees this group come out, you know, with the makeup and the lumps and the 10-inch platforms, and, you know, waka 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 you know, and, oh, that's what my Billy does, you know? <laughs> so, the whole purpose of this speech was just like, you've seen it enough times, and next time you see it, you don't have to put up with it, you should throw things at them, okay? 